Hey, this is Daryl from Modern Work Mentor. I wanted to cover off a couple of lessons learned that I've found with combined chats and channels. This is rolling out to organizations now, and it's a, arriving on people's desks. Maybe there's a few things that could be useful to you here. The big lesson that I've got for this is that your filters are the things that help you stay in control of what's in your list and how you view it. So let's have a look at this at the moment. Now on desktop here, we're going to have a look at desktop, but we're also going to have a look at the experience on the mobile too, because it differs a little. Um, on the desktop, uh, the filters along the top. If I wanted to focus in on things that are unread, I'm going to click on this now, and that shows me a short list, which I can quickly catch up with things that I haven't read yet. I could go into this chat with Laura and see what she's talking about. I've been mentioned there. I can see a couple of meetings where there's been some chat that has happened afterwards and also a channel there where I've been mentioned as well. So very quick way to go and work my way through things that have been unread. But if I was to go off to an app like, say, Calendar or maybe into my OneDrive and I switch on back to the combined chats and channels, and I think, well, where is everything? And I've forgotten, perhaps, that I have left the filter switched on. So when you know, you've know you got a bit more activity happening in your experience here, or you maybe you've switched on just the channels view, for example, if we turn off unread and show just channels, and I switch away and back, and things don't look the same, this is the first place to look. What filters have I still got turned on? The filters are sticky. So if you want to you know, feel disoriented a bit, look at those, that area there, turn off all your filters and then start from scratch from here. The other thing that you might have done too that, that might feel you, make you feel um, disoriented is you perhaps have uh, collapsed one or two of these groups. These groups or sections are ways of grouping together uh, like channels, chats, meetings, and also it's the way that we group all of our chats and all of our teams and channels together too. So if you have collapsed this, uh, then remember too that this might be why your view looks a little different. One of the ways that we can do this is we can use the three dots at the top and collapse all of our sections and then perhaps looking at, uh, based on things that are bold, we can expand and start to go through the things that we might want to read. Uh, but that could be another reason why, because many of these choices that we make are sticky. They stay when we go away to another app in Teams and we come back to the chat app, which combines everything now. Let's also have a look at um, another area, meetings. So if I uh, wanted to have a look at just meetings chat, sometimes there's content that I want to catch up with or go back to. Uh, based on meetings that I have, have had and chat that I could recall, the filter here is, is hidden. So remember that. These are not all the filters, uh, but there is the meetings chat filter. And, you know, point in time, you might be watching this video six months from now, and there might be some different choices here. So remember, this is where all of our filters can be found. We can filter in on meeting chats, and you can see that there is a chat down here, Okay, where Laura has said I'm ready and she's mentioned me. So I can I can see that content. So I'll turn the filter off and I'm back to that view. This is the habit that I'm building at least. I'm going back to this, you know, all filters off view. And perhaps I'd really like to see a button or something up here that just says turn off all filters. That would be fantastic. Uh, the other thing that we might want to do, if, we, if we're if we looking, um, is like I can't see all my channels, I can't see my teams, um, the thing that I like to get into doing here is switching between my channels filter and my chats filter. You know, very simple, if I just want to focus in on the teams that I belong to, uh, then I can turn on channels, and if I click chats, it's going to turn off the channels filter, and it switches between the two there you may also find that you have combined two of these filters. So I've got chats uh, selected at the moment. Let's choose unread. Now I'm seeing unread chats. All right, so always look to see what filters you have turned on. They might have stayed turned on and leave you feel disoriented. Mentions view. The mentions view is quite useful too here as my quick uh, catch up of places that I've been mentioned so I can go through and, and see those conversations. This one I've already read, the other two, they're bold, so they are unread. And I can go through and quickly see 
off here on the right hand side uh, a focused view on that conversation which is in a channel the new office project channel uh, project team and the first floor channel so that's cool too let's have a look at the uh, view here on um, my mobile so something different here on the mobile is that uh, I can change the view of what I want to see based on um, the sections that I've organized. So I've got Project Radio at the top here. Or with this little filter view here, um, I can change and sort based on uh, what is most recent. So this is sorting by recency. This is a feature that was on the desktop but kind of disappeared. It might come back. It might be there while you're watching this video now. But I can go into this recency view and that helps me, particularly useful when I'm on the move, where I can quickly see, okay, Laura, she's had that conversation with me. She's got a question about Copilot and agents. Cool. We'll go back to that recency view. Swipe. Okay, what's next on my list across all my chats, all my channels? Uh, first floor conversation there, and that was that question or that uh, conversation that Matt started about breakout rooms. So that's quite helpful. Um, now, like with the desktop experience, these ch these filters are sticky. So again, if I've turned on channels, I might go and see, you know, my calendar, checking things out there. Go back to chat. Oh, and it's still stuck on channels. So same rule applies on your mobile. These filters are sticky. Take a quick look at the top, see what's turned on, and um, you know, put them back as you were to work your way through your, your channels and conversations as you would like to. Um, the last thing here while I'm on the mobile experience is that you can swipe across to see the different filters. So do remember that. And then even then, <laughs> underneath this you know we've got meetings but there's this new one here called tag mentions so uh, we don't see that on the desktop but we do see this currently on the mobile experience so good to know um, and uh, yeah differences in experiences so those are my key lessons learned around managing those conversations and I think the main thing here which I've said a few times is manage your filters filters give you focus but they can also leave you disoriented if you've left them turned on. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm really interested to hear what your experience has been with the uh, chats and channels uh, and you know how you're finding it too within your organization. Did you feel prepared for this when it was rolled out? Maybe, maybe not, not sure. Uh, but you might see that there are some guides and videos that I have uh, highlighted in the product tray below this video. Uh, so do check those out if you want to download them and use them within your organization. Yeah, they're a good resource to invest in. So cheers. Uh, let me know what you think about this feature. I know that it's landing in a kind of mixed uh, reception <laughs> as some people are finding it. But perhaps you'll see the value of it when you see how powerful these filters are. See you again soon. Bye for now.